who's speaking? Mr. Ali, Mike. And Mr. Ali, most welcome, Mr. Ali. How are you all, everybody? Hello, hello, Miss uh, Dr. Lubna, welcome, most welcome. And um, everybody, everybody here. Hello, Can you see Amani. my screen? Hello, Mr. Hello. Amani, how are you? Fine, uh, everything's okay. Dr. Rajwa, most welcome. Most welcome, everybody here. I'm very and, happy to attend your session today. Okay, I'm very happy too to find you here. It's my pleasure. You are all welcome, yeah. and it's an honor for all of us. Okay, so um, uh, some people are still waiting and are still uh, coming. So let's wait for some minutes. Okay, so um, so uh, let's report. Uh, let's report today. We are with uh, an essential topic, and uh, I'm sure, inshallah, you will uh, like it. And uh, it's uh, really a great issue nowadays because of uh, COVID-19, uh, which made uh, it upside down. <laughs> okay. So everybody here. Welcome to Rilo Azhar Mentors Platform. Uh, today with with uh, Miss Amani Ali. Uh, I'm an EFL teacher and teacher trainer. Uh, I'm a British Council teacher and teacher educator. Uh, I'm Rilo Mentor 2020. Uh, I'm a master's degree candidate in EFL. Okay. Today, uh, we have uh, the moment of our session, so please come and leave some time, and uh, objective opinions are uh, always welcome. Uh, where your thinking has all the time, reflect on your classroom application. And we make, uh, your mute, make sure you are muted, listen carefully to the instructions, uh, and use, uh, <clears throat> okay. Listen carefully to the instructions and use raise hand button in the chat box to answer or comment. Okay. So now, we have the learning outcome. Can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? Can everybody yes. hear me? Yes, great. Okay, we have uh, the learning outcome. Mm -hmm. By the end of this session, by the end of this session, you will be able to recognize the definition of syllabus classroom. Okay, uh, also realize the importance of using syllabus uh, classroom in teaching. Okay, also uh, you will find you will know the uh, and differentiate between traditional and the syllabus uh, classroom. Uh, also, uh, you will define the steps of living the classroom uh, and realize the role of both teachers and learners in the private classroom. Uh, finally, you will find the pros and cons of private classroom and at last, uh, summarize the whole session in a quick review. Okay, uh, so now we will watch a video together. Uh, you will read the question, the following question carefully, and watch the video and try to find the answer while watching, then share your ideas. Okay? So, together, let's watch the video. Can you, can you hear me right now? Can you hear me well? Some people are asking, uh, are asking me to verify my voice. Can you hear me right now? Can you hear me well? Yes, uh, your voice is so clear. Okay, so uh, let's listen. Let's watch a video together. Can you see the screen? Okay, yes, great, great, great. Okay, together you will. Um, 
together, let's watch the video and uh, try to answer the, lessons, the, uh, the questions. Can you see the screen? Yes. Great readers make great writers, whilst great writers make great communicators, and great communicators make great persuaders. And you know what great persuaders make? They make good societies, and that's what this world needs. I think that it's totally crazy that all anyone ever talks about is games, TV shows, WhatsApp, Instagram, Bitmoji. I don't even know what that is. My brother just told me about it. WeChat, Kiki, Saraha, and I could go on forever. Studies have shown that some kids these days even spend six and a half hours on a screen a day. I think we should draw attention to this problem. However, not reading can even result in making your brain less active or engaged. Just over the past year, I've enjoyed reading Winnetou by Carl May, the Harry Potter series with eight books, Roald Dahl series with 12 books, and the Unwanted series with seven books, and many, many single books in between. Some I've liked less, some I've liked more, but they all took me for such an adventure. Ask my family members. I'm a truly unhappy child when I don't have a good book to read right next to me. I love reading in places like my bed, on the move while walking, in the toilet, in queues, in vehicles, but more importantly, at home. I hide behind various corners of my house. Okay, uh, let's move to the questions together. Okay, so uh, at first, who was the presenter in the video? You can write in the chat box, okay? Or you can unmute yourself and speak. Who was the presenter in the video? Is he the teacher or the learner uh, or what? A student. Yes, Moonlight, a student, Mr. Ali, student. Yes, Ms. Amira, uh, learner. Uh, Ms. Shireen, um, learner. Yes, learner, yes. Yes, great. Excellent, everybody, Amira. Just what we I think, uh, okay, great. Okay, uh, is that a learner-centered or teacher-centered? In this, in this class, is this class learner-centered or teacher-centered? Learner-centered, Mr. Ali. Learner-centered. Do you think that there were any barriers that to, uh, he followed to be in this class, to be a presenter in this class? Do you think there were uh, steps that he followed? So can share, you can share your opinion via chat box and uh, also you can share or uh, unmute yourself and speak. Who is the speaker right now? Hello. Who would like? Yes. Yes, yes Mr. Ahmed. Yes, so I, I, I think there, were, there has been a lot of preparation before the mm. presentation and yes. um, a, a lot of practice. A lot of presentation, a lot of steps, yeah. and a lot of practice. Would right. you mind? So this, this. Yes. yes, the question again, the question again, just a minute, Mr. Ahmed. Uh, would, were there any prior steps he followed before presenting this presentation? Yes, Mr. Ahmed, go ahead. Yes, of course. I think, that I, as I told you, there. Uh, uh, there has been some preparation and the practice, so uh, uh, gathering uh, data and information, so. Great, thanks Mr. Ahmed, great. And we have there in the chat box, yes, he do, he do uh, at home, yes, speak. Yes, he speaks naturally, he speaks really about his own experience, okay. Uh, Ms. Ameni? Yes, go ahead. 
Yeah, uh, I don't think so. He speaks freely about his own experience. He speaks uh, in a natural way and spontaneously. Uh, I don't think he, uh, there were a, a formal preparation. Okay, great, but uh, Moonlight and Miss Fatima, uh, the, the student has received the training to do as a speaking test. At least he had three a training at home. Uh, to uh, speak clearly and uh, whatever the subject he wants to speak about, okay? So he may have read some books about that, uh, got uh, some resources, okay? okay? Which is better, learner-centered or teacher-centered? What do you think? Hmm. I think the mixing between the methods will be the best way, Ms. Asma Ahmed Hussain. Great. Who else wants to share? Hmm. Who would like to share? You can unmute yourself and share your opinion. You can unmute yourself and share your opinion. Yeah, yeah uh, I think the boss, the boss uh, misses uh, learner and the teacher. Um, uh, concentrate uh, on a lot of points, uh, teacher and the student. Great, great. Thanks for your great answer, Miss. Miss, what's your name? Heba. Yes, Miss Heba, go ahead. Okay, I think that both of teacher and student can participate in this class or as a teacher centers. We can model a student as a teacher in the class, like a little teacher, you know? Great, the great, yes, uh, or co-teacher. Yes, something yes. like that. Yes, you can uh, work as a facilitator. Yes. Yeah, and helper for the teacher itself, himself or herself. It's great, and uh, Ms. Heba Said uh, agrees with you and said learners center and a lot of students participate. Ms. Uh, Ms. Fatima also uh, said that the same as the student. Okay, thanks. Ms. Heba, and thanks, Ms. Fatima. You're welcome. Ms. Thank you for my participation. Yeah, uh, really, Ms. really, really uh, you were brilliant, and your answer is so interesting for all, for all of us. Okay, thank so you. So, how can we turn this classroom into a learner center? How can you turn the classroom or your, or your classroom into a learner center? Uh, are there? Uh, By making the students share. How is it speaking? By making the students share. For every point. Uh, great. Uh, student sharing for every point in the classroom. Uh, so they can share uh, in practicing activities. Yes, uh, like yeah. uh, role, role play. Role play. Mm -hmm. So uh, activities and strategies. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Shayma Mohammed wants to share her opinion. Okay, Ms. Shayma, you're raising your hand. Okay, so uh, let's move to our session today. What's the Libid classroom? What's the Libid classroom? What do you think? Can you think of a definition for the Libid classroom? Hmm. Hmm. 